Well, I'm going to show how I made a commutator for one of these homemade DC motors. Firstly, I stuffed this particular one up uh, 13 bars instead of uh, I need 12. So, what you need is um, some copper wire, non painted, just bare copper wire. Got an insulating sleeve here, I've roughened it up with a bit of sandpaper. And then I'm going to put other um, double sided tape, a bit of glue on there to hold these uh, copper wires into place. Here I've got some of the commutator bars and I'm going to apply some double sided tape onto the former and see how that's going to work. Well, Luke is supervising me. Well, he's asleep. Hello. Lucas. So yeah, let's get to work. So I'm starting to form the commutator. It's the double sided tape on this former. Uh, these copper strands stick quite nice. So later on I'm going to fix up some rope or cable ties to hold them in place before when I apply the two component glue. Well, I've got a full circle now sitting copper strands on um, the former. Hold them in place with a bit of tape as well and try to get them all nice and parallel and then I have to count them and the count makes out um, how many I'm going to put per segment, whether it's three or four or two. So uh, I'm just going to do a count shortly. Well, I did count and I got 50 in a circle. So I got 12 poles for my uh, motor. So that's going to be 4 12 is 48. So I have three strands next to each other and then I'll take one strand out. And there's a little bit of an equivalentness, and then I'll uh, space them out accordingly. Okay, I got them all in place. I got 12 groups of three. There's actually one with four, but uh, the spacing is perfect. I'll put the binding ropes on the ends, and now I'm going to put some two component glue on these um, binding ropes on here and there, and also on the wires. So that will uh, make that nice secure. Well, uh, and then later on, I'll remove the blue sticky tape. We okay, have put some uh, two component uh, L dot mix on here. Five minute fast uh, drying, quick drying. So uh, we'll keep circling it around so we don't get a heavy spot on one side of the commutator. And uh, let it dry for the time being. Okay, I got the commutator made. I made a spider out of this and I soldered all the bars together here at the end. And I prepared the aerodite and aerodite here. I let it set for a couple of minutes before I put these together and try to get the alignment so it's, it's perfectly, uh, there's no wobble. That's quite important. And then I'm going to tidy up these uh, field calls as well at the same time. So, be with me. Okay, now I'm in the awkward mode that is trying to get this flaming thing to balance. So while the glue is settling, I'll just be been pushing it up little bits and pieces. So yeah, try to get this thing balanced as best as possible. This is not easy. And then we need to solder the terminals on. So. Almost right, nearly there. Okay, we do a quick test run. Um, I've got the device set up as a, a separated, excited calls to create the north and the south pole. Something is piling. Oh, one of the nuts. Hang on, I'll de-energize quickly. One of those nuts was not done up properly, so I energize and see how it goes now. So I've got the DC calls, uh, one creating a north pole, one there doing a south pole on the other side. Um, I'll just show you, it's sitting here. And uh, yeah, the new commutator, 12 bar commutator versus 12 pole rotor, and it runs quite nice. And there's not much sparking, I'll turn the lights off briefly. Oh, there's hardly any sparking. 
I'm going to make it as a series motor, it's now on a parallel uh, field motor, so uh, I need, to, uh, need to tidy up a few things, but uh, this video is mainly to show you how to build the commutator component of this particular DC motor. Um, I think uh, the round strands work quite easy, a lot better than flat copper, which is harder to get hold of and just for assembling. So yeah, it's just for now, just enjoy and hopefully uh, some people can make it like this or yeah, put some comments in the feedback and I'll help you with some advice if needed. Cheers, thanks for watching.